we are outside uh, the main shopping center here in Poland and this is an update today um, the law says that we must all wear masks outside and I notice that everybody is following that advice I'm very impressed with the way Poles have taken responsibility for protecting me and protecting themselves if I wear a mask and you wear a mask then I protect you and you protect me and people are wearing masks some made at home some like mine bought from local wholesalers and uh, it seems to be working um, there is <clears throat> some research been done masks were very controversial I don't know what you think but some research was done uh, in Czech Republic and Austria where Czech Republic were in Austria they started the lockdown at the same time but um, Czech Republic started to wear masks earlier than Austria and the numbers went down when Austria started to tell their uh, population to wear masks as well um, what do you think about masks uh, I'm happy to wear it everybody's wearing them and um, I'm very very proud of the way that Poland has taken on this responsibility um, to safeguard everybody against the coronavirus. Today uh, they've released the lockdowns. Uh, we can go now into the forest, we can go um, by the lake and uh, we can take the masks in the forest <clears throat> and we are 13 year olds are allowed out now unaccompanied by adults. What do you think about that? Do you think, the, do you think the releasing it or um, slowing down, uh, letting people start to go out is a good thing, a bad thing? Is it too early? Um, the government obviously wants to get the economy uh, slightly moving again. Um, smaller shops are opening, and, but the streets are still quite empty as you can see here. There's a shopping centre behind you, but generally people are being responsible and I still feel very safe here in Poland I have to say um, there's fewer there are fewer police now on the roads in in Poland so well in Ostruda um, I was out yesterday and there was nothing really uh, happening the streets were quiet the, there was no police present maybe one police car but generally you know everybody seems to be wearing the masks and um, nobody's it's interesting because you, the police were out earlier and I think it was a bit unnecessary to be quite so um, quite so intense because people are pretty much obeying the rules here in Ostruda. Um, people are looking after themselves, they're staying indoors when necessary. Um, I don't think they're sort of all descending upon the forest and people are going to the supermarket, you still have to wash your hands when you get in, you wear gloves. The supermarkets, uh, they've increased the limit now, I think it's to four people per uh, checkout, so more people can go in. But I notice that social distancing is still very popular with people. And um, generally, it's pretty good. We have the elections coming uh, in May, on May the 10th. And um, I don't know what you think about that. Is it is going to be a postal election? Do you think that's the right thing to do? Do you think it should be delayed? Um, what's your opinion? Um, a lot of people are not too happy about it. Some are. I don't really have a strong opinion. I think it's up to you to decide what you think is right and what is wrong. Um, the, <clears throat> the government seems to be taking advice. They have committees that decide what we're going to do and what we're not going to do and how they're going to slowly, slowly try to get um, the economy going. And um, the total number of deaths at the moment, I think today was 360. And most of those seem to be in the, uh, in the cities. And um, compared to other countries, it seems quite low. We don't know. Do you think that's the real figures? In England, it's kind of controversial because I don't take the um, the um, the homes where elderly people are living into consideration when they have deaths there. Um, I don't know in Poland if they do. 
What do you think about that? Do you think that every death, obviously, which is a sad death and a tragedy, but every death from COVID should be reported officially? Should there be more testing? The government claims that testing is increasing. Um, I don't know the official, uh, I know the official figures, but I don't know how much we can trust or governments around the world are, um, or seem to be playing with the figures. I don't know, what do you think? What's happening where you are now? Um, yeah, so, so like I say, this is just an update. They've relaxed the lockdown. People can go out a bit. Uh, people can get some exercise. Uh, 13s don't need to be accompanied anymore. The lakeside will be open, the forests are open. Around here there's loads and loads of forests around here where you can walk literally for kilometers and kilometers and absolutely find nobody at all. And uh, as far as I'm aware, the virus doesn't spread in, uh, in the forest unless, I, unless I'm wrong, you must tell me that. But um, yeah, it's still very quiet. Um, but I feel very safe. I'm going to go shopping now. I've got my mask on. I'm going to walk around a shop. I'm going to... They say that generally the World Health Organization says that social distancing is probably the most important and we can slowly, slowly get back to normality, providing we do it carefully. We still observe the, um, the rules, hand washing, wearing gloves, wearing masks, and just being socially responsible, which Generally here in Poland, I think everybody's being socially responsible. Um, I hope you can hear this. I didn't want a video indoors. I wanted to come outside. The sun is shining, but I just wanted to show you that, you know, that Poles are taking responsibility without police presence on the street. And I think they're being very, very sensible and taking it very seriously. And I hope that with the action taken that, um, we can eventually get back to normal and I hope there will be fewer and fewer deaths here in Poland because I say every death is a tragedy and if we can avoid it by being responsible. Um, if you're in a car with a person who's not a member of a family, you have to wear a mask. Um, a lot of people, you know, say the masks are not necessary, but I, I, I like them. I like the idea and statistically shown that in, um, South Asia, in um, South Korea, Singapore, and countries where they do wear masks, the numbers have gone down. And um, I, I'm happy to, you know, just be responsible. I think it's better safe than sorry. So this is Peter Dow. Um, thank you for all the comments that you've written. I read them all, uh, even if they're ones that you don't agree with me, that's fine. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. Um, and, and yeah, this is Peter in Australia. It, the sun's sort of coming out. It's a little bit chilly, but people are walking around. And I'm gonna go shopping. I've got my, my bags, of course, and I've got my gloves, and, and I'm gonna be responsible. And um, I'll report next time anything happens, but write below what you think about the elections coming. Um, is it too soon? Should they be focused on the virus? I don't know. Oh, there was, um, a situation where last weekend, this weekend, where the government went to Warsaw uh, to remember 10 years of the Smolensk air tragedy. Some people felt that was inappropriate. Some people felt it was not a good example. What do you think? What's your opinion? I, I'm not gonna express an opinion. It's up to you to tell me what you think. This, this video is about you telling me what you think. Maybe not personally about me, I hope, but uh, about what's happening here in Poland and in your country. And, I say all comments can be debated. I've noticed that people are using good language. I thank you all for the, the good health comments um, and welcome to Poland comments and take care comments. Thank you for that. But I just want to report what I see uh, and um, then you can decide what's the truth, what maybe not the truth. There's a police car coming behind me now. A very nice Toyota looking around. There we go. But they're just, they're just sort of driving around. They're just checking generally on what's happening there. But you can see, you see people wearing masks everywhere and uh, there's no need for any heavy handedness. I haven't noticed, I've noticed one or two people who are being irresponsible, but you get that in every country. But um, again, at the moment I feel very safe here in Poland and um, I'll follow the rules 
and now the forest is open I would definitely be walking around the beautiful forests of Poland keeping my distance of course from other people if I meet anybody being responsible and um, you know doing my best to play my part in trying to help keep this country as safe as possible and to follow the rules and get rid of this virus as much as possible so this is Peter Dow from Ostuda on Monday the lockdown has been released marks are compulsory uh, elections in May May the 10th and um, lots of things happening here right below what you think right below any comments and I'd really appreciate it and I'll read them this is Peter Dow in Ostuda take it easy be healthy and do your best to have a good day Bye-bye.